All right, everyone, in this video, I want to show you the mechanism of MSE, how MSE expands the maxilla, the cheekbones, and the nasal volume. Please subscribe for more videos related to adult jaw expansion, and if you'd like to chat one-on-one -on -one with me about my own experience trying to expand my jaws, you can visit www.jawhacks.com to sign up for a consult. Now on with the video. MSE is installed right here at the back of the maxilla. It is screwed in with 10 millimeter screws on either side of this suture called the mid palatal suture and it has a jack screw and when that jack screw is turned the suture actually splits like this. Obviously this is going to create an increase in intermolar width, which is the measurement from the inside of the first molar here to the inside of the other first molar here. In my case, I experienced an intermolar width of 10 millimeters, which in my opinion may be a world record. I, I have never seen an intermolar width increase that big, so I think Dr. Zubad and I may hold the record for intermolar width increase, or at least the MSE intermolar width increase at 10 millimeters. I expanded from uh, 37 millimeters to 47 millimeters, and that has been life-changing. I should also add at this point that MSE is known for creating a very parallel split of the suture, whereas other uh, MARPI devices are known for creating more of a Pac-Man type split, which is more open up front, and not so much open in the back, which kind of may look like this. Uh, but MSE, again, is gonna be known for, especially the type two, for that really parallel split where there's as much expansion at the back of the maxilla as there is at the front of the maxilla. One of the unique benefits of MSE is that it is able to expand the cheekbones. This is often referred to as mid-face expansion, and as far as I know, there's no other device that can do this apart from uh, cheek implants, which is a purely cosmetic procedure where you know material is simply added to the cheek area to give the appearance of larger cheekbones. So uh, let's uh, jump into how this, this goes. Here are the cheekbones right here. One and two. On this model, they're labeled the zygomas. And you, what you're gonna see is that when the maxilla is split by the MSE, the cheekbones are gonna fan out. They're gonna fan out in this manner, like this, on both sides. So here we go with the split. You can see the cheekbones fanning out. And I'll do that one more time. From here, we're gonna split the suture and watch these cheekbones fan out. Last, but certainly not least, is how MSE expands the nasal volume. This, folks, is probably my favorite benefit of MSE so far. It really, really improves nasal breathing by expanding the volume of the nose. It is now the dead of winter here in Massachusetts. The heat is on, the air is hot and stuffy. Normally, this time of year, I would have stuffy noses constantly. I'd wake up with a dry mouth because I'd be forced to mouth breathe at night but I don't even have a humidifier going and my nose is as wide as ever. It's like a hallway. And this has been the result ever since I did MSE. I have not had a single stuffy nose since doing MSE. So let me show you how MSE expands the nasal volume. The idea here, folks, is gonna be that the maxilla, the roof of the mouth is also gonna be the floor of the nose. Just like if you're in the basement of a house, the ceiling, Yes, it's, it's the ceiling of the floor that you're currently on, but it is also the floor of the level above you. This is gonna be the same idea here. So let me show you, when we split the suture though, keep an eye on the nose and we'll get a view from here first. Boom, you split the suture and that nasal cavity gets bigger. For the next demonstration, I'm gonna pull the maxilla and the cheekbones off of the skull to show you how the roof of the mouth really is the floor of the nose. All right, here we have the maxilla and the cheekbones pulled off the skull. And what we see is that we have 
the maxilla, the roof of the mouth, and if we keep rotating the model, there we see the nasal passage. The air flows right through here, and what do we find? We find that the maxilla, the roof of the mouth, is simultaneously the floor of the nose, and that when we split the maxilla, we expand the nasal passage and no wonder I haven't had a stuffy nose since doing MSE. My nasal volume has been expanded at the level of the bone. I mean, a, a, a soft tissue nose surgery can't even compare to this. I mean, you're expanding the nose at the level of the bone, and that is key. I want to take a moment to uh, talk about the dome procedure. Dome is a surgical uh, procedure that often accompanies MSE where the mid-palatal suture here and these sutures right here that connect the maxilla to the zygoma, the cheekbone, these are cut in order to guarantee a successful split of the mid-palatal suture. As you may or may not know, probably the biggest risk with MSE is that you install it, you go through all that trouble, and then the suture doesn't actually split because the suture uh, overpowers the appliance and the appliance fails before the suture is able to successfully split. And one way that they, they, they overcome this hurdle at a 100% success rate is to do the dome procedure, which involves cutting here and cutting here. But when you do the dome, it prevents mid-face expansion. Why is that? Well, because the way that the maxilla is connected to the cheekbone is through this suture. So if you cut this suture, then when the maxilla is widened, that, uh, that force, that, uh, that expansion is not going to transfer to the cheekbone. Instead, you're going to get the maxilla getting really wide, yet the midface is not going to keep up, which is why, although the dome has the very nice benefit of guaranteeing a suture split of the maxilla, of the mid-palatal suture, it's going to make midface expansion impossible and in my opinion, the better option is to do a cortical puncture in which the mid-palatal suture is punctured by the dentist's drill. This is going to weaken that suture and give you a better chance of a split while also leaving open the door to mid-face expansion. All right, folks, I hope you enjoyed that video. I hope you get a better idea of how MSC works. I know it's a little bit scary to think of splitting your skull open, but I can tell you that although it is quite painful, especially for that the install and for that first week of aggressive expansion as you're trying to split the suture, yeah, it kind of sucks. It's like a Chinese torture device splitting your own skull open. You can actually feel it. Um, you can actually feel the skull being split, but it is worth it. It is worth it. And I've done plenty of other videos describing the benefits I've gotten from MSE and my experience with it. If you like the video, please like if you want to do a one-on-one -on -one consult, please visit www.jawhacks.com. Subscribe here for more jaw-related videos to come, and I will catch y'all soon. Be easy. Peace out.